Sage Wonder coming at you from my van down by the river. So, um, yeah, I received a really great comment in my comment sections uh, concerning the video about um, the, them trying to get me to sell my soul to the devil all those years ago. And a guy replied in the comment section with a really wrong, long comment. Now, if you've read this, then this is redundant. But if you didn't read it, then I, I want to take a minute and, and just read it to you. And I don't usually read things off of here. Usually I'm just speaking from the gut. But this guy's experience is way more creepy and detailed than mine. And I would just say go and read it. But hey, I know a lot of us just, uh, you know, we want to be able to have things right now. Oh, I'm going to need my glasses. I'm going to read it. Uh, that happened when I turned 40. All right, here we go. So this is some creepy stuff, man. And this goes right hand in hand with everything I talked about. So... The guy's name is is Robert Edmund, and I feel like I was kind of waiting for him to reply back that I could go ahead and, and read this, but a lot of times people don't go back and check my replies when I reply to videos. They just like drop a you know a comment and split, but I did reply asking permission, but I feel like since he put it up on my comments page that it's okay for me to read it, and I think he would want me to, and it goes like this. So the guy's name is uh, Robert Edmund. And it's, uh, it says, Sage, holy crap, I thought this was just me. The problem is in my Crossroads experience, I signed the contract. The guy that approached me told me something really similar. My band was going to go places, etc. And that we had already signed on a record deal. But it was a small record company, even though today they have grown quite a bit. But 15 years ago, they were small. Now this guy said that I needed to learn to be more dark. Since I wasn't at that time a Christian, I was more anti-Christian than closer to God. He sat the band down and said we had to get rid of our drummer, and he had the perfect person for it, a female, which is crazy in metal, but she was really, really good. Anyways, he sidebarred me and told me that if we would do this, this would be huge. So I told him that I was going to test her out, and you know, uh, and you know see what's going on. Sage man, if you only knew, this girl was amazing. Probably the best drummer I have ever seen. And she was smoking hot, too. So we got rid of our drummer, and we had her playing shows and all of that. Now, she was an open Satanist. She groomed me to be part of that group. She and I started to date each other, and things got progressively weirder and weirder. In a very long, short, short on my signing and unholy baptism day, that guy came back and said, Now, if you go through with this, you guys will rock it all the way to the top, and we will have you signed to the biggest metal record label and the very next day. Now, I had been really hesitant and been growing re resistance towards this offer. I know now, but not then, that it was God and His Spirit reaching out to me. Anyways, I went to the ceremony, and they wanted me to sell my soul to Lucifer and... Uh, a contract was written and I needed to sign it in blood. I refused and was violently attacked. I was harassed, but I never signed my soul away. I just knew something was wrong, something was evil. It still took me 10 years to find Jesus Christ, but God protected me then and he protected me when I went to war. Thank you for your service, I guess, or maybe it was war in the, in the situation. As I look back at the, that experience, I remember things that I see now as the corrupting of my soul to become a slave to myself slash Satan. In the end, everything dried up and that record company dropped us. The band fell apart. That girl was the first to go, which happened pretty instantly. Everything live dried up and the last show we did was in a local laser tag arena for free because no one would have us. Yeah, powerful story. Bro, you need to do a video of this, man. You need to get this out. That's one of the most powerful stories I've heard. And if you meant when you went to war, meaning that you're a veteran, then thank you for our service. And uh, God did protect you. And wow, powerful video, uh, powerful story, man. And thanks for sharing. And I hope my viewers enjoyed this little recitation. Uh, of course, this is uh, one of the uh, comments on my video concerning my Faustian contract or crossroads moment. So anyway, thanks again. Thanks to all my wonderful viewers, and God bless America.